Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematically Inclined. If you guys are super scared of permutations and combinations, then don't worry. Kyuki, Mehuna. Let's begin with another super shortcut in this series. In case you haven't checked out my previous video on permutations and combinations, then make sure to click at the i button. And now, let the magic begin. You are tested for these kind of questions in a lot of competitive exams. So, if you come across a question that says, in a football competition, let's say there are nine teams, each team plays each other twice, what is the total number of matches played? How much time do you think you should devote to this problem? Well, technically not more than three seconds. Yes, this is right. The answer to this one would be, That's it. Now, coming to a similar one, the answer to this one would be That's all. Trust me, it is this simple. Want to know the secret magic trick? Stay tuned till the end of this video. So, the magical formula goes this way. If there are n number of teams who want to play some p number of times, then the total number of matches which would be conducted would be half of this n into n minus 1 into p. That's it. Let's have a look at these questions one more time. In a football competition, there are 9 teams. So, n becomes 9. Each team plays each other twice. So, p becomes 2. What is the total number of matches being played? So, all you are doing is half of 9 into 8 into 2 and that's it. Your answer was 72. You can do this mentally and at times it doesn't even take 3 seconds. Moving on to the next one, there are 8 teams. So N is 8 in a league. Each plays with the other exactly once. Now this information isn't actually making a difference to the question. So, the answer once again is total number of matches would be half of 8 into 7 into 1. So, it was 28. Bingo! Look at the next two questions. The third one says, in a hockey league there are 10 teams. Each plays every other team only once. So, we already have our N, we have our P. If we can play 5 games every week, how many weeks long is this season? Now, of course, it appears to be a slightly different question, but actually isn't. You will find the total number of matches using the formula. So, the total number of matches would be half of n into n minus 1 into p. So, the answer to this one is 45 matches. Now further, if you can play only 5 games in a week, then 45 games divided by 5, so you require 9 weeks for the entire season. Wasn't this easy? Moving to the last one, again it is slightly twisted. It says in a game 153 matches were played. So this time they are actually already giving you the total number of matches being played. Every two teams played only once with each other. Find the total number of teams. So this time you actually have to find N when the total number of matches are already available with us. So use the same formula. This time you say 153 is half of N which we have to find into n minus 1 into, they say played only once, so into 1. Solving this you get n square minus n minus on cross multiplying, you get this quadratic equation. On solving this you end up getting n minus 18 into n plus 17 is 0. Now number of teams cannot be negative, so the answer is n is equal to 18. Wasn't it easy? Look at the next question. It says in a hockey league there are 16 teams. 
each plays with every other team twice find the total number of games played well uh uh i am not going to tell you the answer for this because this happens to be your diy question yes do it yourself and answer fast but not only fast make sure it is accurate because the first three correct answers those people get named in my upcoming videos so please note this down i am sure you enjoyed this trick a lot if yes make sure to show some love to this video and give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to share it with all the people around you and if you haven't done that so far make sure to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos also don't forget to check out the playlist on my channel for math shortcuts and full concept videos see you with a new exciting one real soon until then bye bye